The new 7 star terror raid Mewtwo is the hardest terror raid that has been released so far. I'm going to show you what you need to do to beat this monster of a raid. The first thing we need to note here is that this raid cannot be soloed, so you will need to either do it online with randoms or find a group of people to do it with. Next, let's talk about Mew. Mew gets a 20% boost to all of its stats, except HP which gets a 50% boost during the raid. Now, as far as the Mew is concerned, I'm going to show you the damage dealing Mew build. We are going to build this Mew as a Terra Bug Mew. The reason we want Terra Bug is because of the move Struggle Bug, which lowers the special attack after using it. The other three moves will be Sword Stance, Light Screen, and Leech Life. You also want to EV train your Mew in max attack, five Carbos, and the rest into HP. The reason why you want to use five Carbos is so that you can outspeed the Mew 2 during the raid, which makes survivability easier. Don't forget to hyper train your Mew as well as use PP ups on all of the moves so you have enough moves for the entire raid. You want to give your Mew the metronome item, which I forgot to do mistakenly, because the metronome item will boost your attack for each consecutive time you use that attack, and you're going to be using Leech Life a lot during this raid. Now we are moving on to the raid battle itself. Mewtwo will start with its shield raise and special attack raised by one stage. Ideally, you'll want a group of four Mews, with one being a support Mew, the other three being the damage dealing Mews. If you want me to make a video on a support Mew build, leave a like and a comment down below. The game plan is for the first three turns, each of the attacking Mews will use Struggle Bug to lower the Mewtwo's special attack down as low as it can go. Then, after you Trastalize, you will use three Sword Stance so you're at the maximum attack. The Leech Life will be healing and using Life Dew throughout this entire process, so that way none of your Mews faint. Now, all three of the attacking Mews will use the move Leech Life until the shield breaks. When the shield is about to break, the support Mew will use Misty Terrain to stop Mewtwo from using Rest as soon as the shield breaks. The only other parts of this fight where the plan will change is if Mewtwo removes its negative effects, then you will switch back to using Struggle Bug three times to lower its special attack again. If he lowers your boost, you'll need to use three sword stance again. Okay, enough talk. I'm going to show you the successful raid that I did at three times speed, where we had two attacking Mews and two support Mews, because I just did it with randoms online. If you have any other suggestions on other ways to do this raid, leave them in the comment section below. Now, let's see the raid. Oh. 